well, I don't know where we're going now. I'm gonna, I'm gonna want it. <laughs> I need want it for that. Moonlight cloaked behind thin clouds shone above us. It was a muted glow, enough to underscore the feeling of no, of loneliness, as I sat inside of my bedroom. I leaned my head against the wall, trying not to fall into a daze from the flurry of anxious thoughts. I wanted, instead, to think about his face. Ah, oh, son on son. He had overcome so much strife and turmoil, and even being temporarily replaced by Ito. In order to reassert his worth, he did the unthinkable, sacrificing his humanity by drinking the water of life. Well, at first, he had been able to regain his place. It came at the cost of a life filled with obscurity. Even as the burden of his duties increased, as the Shogun had continued to, ra to wage his unwinnable war, he was ostracized, left to wither alone into dust. No matter what San san had said to explain it, what did anyone have to do to deserve this unjust fate? Of course, he wasn't completely innocent, nor was he merely an observer to how things unfolded. I wasn't sure if anyone, least of all myself, could fault him for trying to shape his life for the better. There were so many things I wish I could say to him. Not just to son and son, to you and father as well. Yare, yare. Are we having a moment with Kaoru? Kaoru periodically appeared on my doorstep with condescending taunts and fits of laughter. No matter how often he visited me, however, I could never restrain my anger when he opened his mouth, because he opens his mouth. Why are you here today, Kaoru? If you're going to try and convince me again to cooperate with Father, then you might as well turn and leave now. <laughs> What? I thought you and father were collaborating together. Oh. Kaoru gave a cold smirk. Both father and myself were easily convinced of Kaoru's loyalty to father's cause, but... Perhaps he had an ulterior motive for joining and I felt uneasy wondering what he was plotting to. Then... Kaoru... Eh? Were you expecting me to come willingly? Right, so I'm afraid for whatever Kaoru has in store. Hi! This is the moment my heart skipped a beat! What? Ka 
Outer was intentionally dragging his feet as he's escorted me to Shirakawa Castle's common room. In its heyday, the common room hosted plenty of noble guests for diplomatic and luxur luxurious feasts. At the head of the table stood son and son and father. In the center of the hall were Sen and Kimigiku, encircled by a menacing group of furies, all of whom licked their lips and had red glowing eyes. Sen! Kimigiku! Uh... What happened? この女たちがこそこそと潜入したところを私が偶然見つけましてねこうして捕らえた後を縛り上げ丁重にお越しいただいたというわけですこれ私は私は私は私は私は私は私は私は私は私は私は私は私は私は私は私は私は私は私は私
A terrifying glimmer appeared in his eyes, as if he were twisting a knife into my gut with pleasure. それはどういうことですかこれから毎日血を流してもらわなくてはならないからね部屋から出す必要もないだろう Oh, great. そんなことならもっと早くこうすればよかった Wasted all of their time? He was calling my time with the Shinsengumi. All of the lessons, the memories, the friends. A waste. Kodo! Kono koga donna umoide! Anta o sagashteta ka wakatte no? Sari o yu ni koto kaite! Muda da nante! It's fine, Sen. Nothing any of us said or did can make a difference. As father had fallen into a depravity I couldn't follow. It was no longer the father whom I loved. My heart felt blank, and as Sen approached me, I shot him a somber look. Wasn't he turn up about all of this as well? I felt compelled to speak, to get through to Sun and Sun. Sun and Sun. Do you also feel like all of this was a waste of time? As in, when I first introduced myself to you and the rest of the Shinsengumi, do you regret the time we spent together? Did it mean any? Did it mean nothing to you? どうしたんだね、三男君。純血の鬼の血を用いれば、羅刹の研究はさらに飛躍的に進んだろう。その中には君の求めるものもきっとある。その崩れかけた体を捨てて、君は人に戻れるのだよ。それに君の命は君一人
ここにとどまる理由もない君はそのままでいいのかねこの呪われた体を抱えたまま孤独に死ぬといいえ孤独ではありません私にはたとえ羅刹の実のままでも添い遂げると言ってくれた人がいますそんな愛する人と共に暮らし共に笑ってどこまでも一緒に過ごす夢のような話ですが命を懸けるだけの価値がある夢ですサナさん、turned coolly to wink at me, causing my chest to flutter with warmth. ヒミガキレゴトイウトアコッテダ。ジブンガイキタイガタメニ、シンセングミオウラギリ、ナカマオコロシタノアダレダネ。コードクモジオクデウカバレマイ、イマサラゼニンブローナドト。誰が地獄にいるって This is the other part where my heart skipped a fucking beat. From the distance, a voice harshly interrupted Father. As we all gazed around in confusion, a flash of light occurred, and gruesome laceration appeared all over the furious encircling Sen and Kimigiku. I wiped my eyes with both of my hands, unsure if I was hallucinating when I saw. <laughs> How? I thought Sun and Sun murdered you. あまりこの死にそこないがラセスケオードと人質を殺せファーザーズボイス trembled with rage and all of the surviving furies suddenly sprinted towards ヘスケ Sen and Kimikiku in a ravenous spree Two demons, however, subdued the Furies easily, proving they were mobile all along. Oh, I need some. Cochino, Chizuchan got dead. The girl, Matta Tandakara. He was some. Tiogari was so comedy. My life had turned upside down in an instant. I was dumbfounded, lost in the spectacle of chaos unfolding in front of me. Was almost too good to be true. I really wondered how long he was gonna keep the charade up. Oh, eh, but I see a good money could that demo. Another guy, so many Joe Ho, she had to create her husband. I am a sin. This car told open you are what I see. Need kill it. She by you. She demo. I must. 仲間を殺したとなればさすがに警戒も緩むと思いましたからねチェよく言うぜサンナンさんあの時は本気で切ってきたじゃねえか<笑> Yeah he's still absolutely stabbed the fuck out of you I like how this just runs parallel to Hitchikata's これがあの時狙いを察しなかったらどうするつもりだったんだよ私は最初から信じていましたから昔からの仲間でしょう。The two exchanged genial smiles and suddenly everything came together. I couldn't contain my own giddiness, realizing that Sun and Sun had been two steps ahead this entire time. One by one. Sun and Sun, Heske, Sen, and Kimigiku hacked the incoming furies, and blood splattered almost over almost every surface of the common room. He really had me going. 
And the fact that Heisuke was alive, or that Sen and Kimigiku weren't in real danger. You could have told me about all of this. I feel like a fool for being the only one in the dark. I was flustered and truly deeply afraid. Sanan-san's voice trailed off, and he thinned his eyes as he directed a glare towards father. Sanan-san! Always looking for a fight! There was neither humor nor livid livity in Sanan-san's eyes. Behind Sanan-san's glasses, I watched hatred fester like wildfire. Father, too, caught sight of this and gasped. Father raised a hand in the air, making a strange movement which prompted the room's doorways to open, revealing a frightening horde of furies. There weren't just ten or even twenty of them. A multitude of furies suddenly had us surrounded, causing my stomach to sink like a stone. おお、金。いかに君たちの腕が立ったところで、この数の差はいかんともしがたいだろう。さて、それはどうでしょうね。やってみてはいかがです。お余裕。後悔するといい。<laughs> Upon father's command, the furies spurred into motion, pointing their ferocious eyes towards us. It was do or die, and I took a deep gulp. Right in front of me, a fury spun on his heel before beheading his nearby comrades. Their heads soaring into the air, propelled by geysers of blood. Oh, yes. It set off like a chain reaction as each of the Furies began evis... Eviscate... Evi... Eviscrating? Their own in... Oh, whatever word. Their own in barbarous fashion. A bloody pandemo pandem pandemonium erupted, and as the brutal display continued, Father gazed on in horror. どういうことだ。なぜ私の忠実な兵士たちがどうし打ちを。おや、もう忘れですか。この場にいるラセス兵のほとんどは確かに忠実な兵でしょうが。私が率いてきた新選組のラセス隊士を舞台に取り込んだのがあなたの敗因です。I took a grand a gander around the room in awe. Hidden amongst the ranks of wolfish furies were warriors whose eyes maintained a sense a semblance of sanity. I recognized them as former Shinsengumi warriors. It was the Fury Corps here to save us from peril. Sanan Sochou no you told it. The touch of Rasset's in a demo. She's saying to me to stay. Oh, could you more that data got texta? Kono Rasset's no Kurushimi. Chieno Kawakua. What a touch like a German. Compared to Father's Furious, the Shinsengumi Fury Corps were adept. 
seemingly invincible against a, tra a tide of makeshift weak-willed warriors. The Shinsengumi men roared, hurling men forward as they sucked their blades into, into their enemy's flesh. For San and San, it was a master, master stroke. The finishing play in a strategic betrayal against my father. さて、これでもう Father was desperate, backed into a corner by San and San. He stuffed his hand into his pocket, searching for a second until he pulled out a glass vial with red liquid. Father, stop! If you take the serum, you'll only do yourself more harm! Father ignored my words smugly, bringing the glass vial to his lips. Just as he was about to swallow the serum. Oh. Kaoru's voice cut through the noisy discord, and all of us gasped as he shoved his blade into Father's chest. Blood began spewing from his mouth, dribbling down his chin as he dropped lifelessly to the ground. His murderer wore a devilish grin, taking pleasure in the sight of his kill. コードさんと君は協力関係だったのでは。協力関係。この男と。聞きます。言わないでほしいな。お前たちの動きに乗る形になったけど。俺だってこの機会を突っ止めらってたんだ。Kaoru kneeled beside father, who was having a spasm in a pool of, of his own blood, before whispering. That's the Kaoru we all know. Kaoru punctuated his scathing diatribe with a swift kick to father's lifeless body before glaring at me. He was far gone, beyond the point of return. Kaoru, do you hate me? Nice. 
好きだからこそお前には俺の苦しみを分かってもらう必要があるだろう Then you should have approached me first. Why did you have to kill father? Kaoru yanked the bloody sword from out of father's chest, sauntering towards me with contempt. Light glimmered faintly atop the blade pointed at my neck. But Sanan san and Heisuke came to my rescue, thwarting my twin brother before his blade could touch me. The tip of Sanan san's sword was thrust into Kaoru's heart while Heisuke restrained Kaoru's ribcage. <laughs> ですが。彼を止めたのは私たちだけではなかったようです。As Kaoru toppled over, a figure appeared behind him. It was father, solemnly encoded in dried blood. He clutched a ripped piece of fabric from Kaoru's shirt in his hand. I realized in hindsight that father was the one to pull Kaoru from charging forward to kill me. Father, why? <laughs> Father could barely support his own weight, and he pressed his hand over his chest in pain. Father took one last breath and dropped to his knees. As his body met the ground, he exploded into a cloud of ash and disappeared into dust. Thank you, Father. <laughs> <laughs> 